Hey, good morning, South Shore family. Today is Sunday, May 31st, and this is our online service for this week. I'm glad you're able to join us, and it's wonderful to have this uh, weather with the, the sun and the, the warmth that we've been having lately, and we're just really enjoying that. It's nice to be outside a bit, get some of the, the birds in the background today. This, uh, this Sunday, Adam is going to be taking us through another psalm. This week, it's Psalm 110. And it's a psalm that's uh, quoted a lot in the New Testament, in particular in Hebrews, which we'll see in a minute. Uh, it focuses on the idea of the, the priest and the king and the Davidic line that the psalmist is talking about. It's interesting as you go through it because really um, this psalm is kind of scary for those who don't submit to Christ. There's a lot of um, really sort of scary imagery in that for someone who's in that position. But for those who do submit, make Christ their king, it is a psalm with a lot of comfort and hope for us, um, hope for things we are looking forward to. In um, announcements this morning, um, I don't have very much uh, this week, but uh, just a reminder for those who are interested in uh, supporting the Pregnancy Resource Center um, and Visage, I believe is the new name. Uh, if you are participating in the baby bottle campaign, which they're doing online, uh, that's something you can check out if you haven't already. Uh, that's definitely a ministry that, that we, we love here and uh, love to support. So please check that out if you can. Um, I want to take you as a call to worship to Hebrews, um, which quotes Psalm 110 at least four times throughout the book. It's quoted many times. Uh, the writer of Hebrews quotes many parts of the Old Testament, making a pretty technical argument to the Jews and to his Jewish audience about why Christ is the fulfillment of the, the Old Testament. And um, even in the midst of this pretty sort of heady sort of argument and getting through the things like uh, Melchizedek, which you'll hear about in Psalm 110 um, this week, in the middle of that, I'm really encouraged by what he says in Hebrews 4, 14 to 16. So let me read that to you. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who is in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. There's so much hope and there's so much comfort in that. Again, this, the concept of the priest and the king, in this case the priest who has laid down his life for us, which is Jesus, the Son of God. So as we um, go to prayer this morning and as we go through uh, the songs that have been selected, uh, there is a playlist this week that you can use or you can um, sing on your own. It's, it's up to you how you choose to go through that. But um, at some point, as you pause to pray, there's a few things that I would encourage you to pray about this week. Uh, first, pray that we can gather again soon, um, that we'll be allowed, we'll be able to safely gather together in the Lord's name physically. We're very thankful we can still gather this way, but we look forward very much to that. Also, in that same respect, we need to pray for patience. I know we're all getting tired of being apart. We're getting tired of being um, sort of stuck where we can't meet with people the way that we used to, especially when the weather gets so nice like this. We need to pray for those who, uh, among us ourselves or others that we know of that are struggling. I think we're all struggling in different ways, whether it's with patience, like I just said, or just other things. Um, some people are still struggling uh, financially somewhat. Some people are struggling emotionally. We have, there's stress and trying to deal with that. So let's pray for each other, let's pray for ourselves. Let's pray for our leaders, those who are making the decisions about what to do, that they would continue to have uh, wisdom and to, to make the right decisions that's going to protect people. And let's pray for our witness, that uh, those that we are near in this time that we can share with them this hope that we're reading about in Psalm 110, that they would be able to be on the side of having comfort in this kind of message because they're submitting to Christ as their king. So I encourage you to pray for uh, these types of things when you take a moment to pray, um, which you can do at any point during the, the songs and the time leading up to the message from Adam from one, Psalm 110 this Sunday. Let me just pray quickly for us right now before we head into um, those songs. 
Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your grace. Thank you for being the high priest, the king. You are our all in all. You are everything that we need, everything that we hope for. God, our hope rests in you. Thank you for allowing us to come before you, before your throne of grace. Thank you for the mercy that you give us. Lord, we fall so short in what we need to do and how we need to live. And we're aware of that. And we ask for your mercy. And we ask for your grace that we may do the work that you have for us to do, that we may be bold and speak as we should. Thank you that we can gather even in this way today as a people, as a church. We pray for the rest of your church that's gathering mostly remotely like this as well, that we may be strengthened as a whole across the world to be your witness in this time and always. In Jesus' name, amen.